Hey y'all, it's me P and I'm baking another recipe. Today we're taking these two items and a couple other small ingredients y'all and we're going to make some egg rolls. Real quick, real easy, real filling. You can put this on the side, you can put this as your nail. But either way it go, it's quick, it's easy, and it's low-key healthy. I ain't going to say it's fully healthy, I'm not going to help you, but it's, it's good. <laughs> Stay tuned for the end. That's a good sign. intro we make egg rolls i know you probably saw these egg roll tins in your local store and we're using coleslaw i just didn't feel like chopping up my own cabbage and carrots and all of that good stuff so i just got a bag of coleslaw because that's basically what's inside of the egg roll to get started i put a little bit of um butter in the pan i think it was y'all butter olive oil you could do either or and I just want this to wilt. So I'm not really cooking it, I'm not sauteing it, I'm just heating it up so it can wilt a little bit because I don't want it too crunchy. I put a very little bit of garlic powder, soy sauce, and then I'm gonna come bake with some uh, sesame oil. Just those two things. Now you can go and add extra seasoning if you want, but I just wanted it to taste pretty authentic to what you would taste at a Chinese restaurant and you know you could add ginger but I'm gonna add that to my shrimp because I'm also adding shrimp to this I'm sorry I didn't say that in the beginning this will be a shrimp and um, cabbage shrimp and vegetable egg roll so I am gonna have ginger and green onion garlic as well so I just don't want to overpower it, uh, put too much seasoning because it's supposed to be like a real natural, you know, vegetable and shrimp flavor. So right here, that's all I'm going to do. Y'all see, I'm turning the heat off and I'm just going to mix it up, make sure everything blends and then I'm going to take that off the heat. Okay, now I'm setting it aside in a little dish. Um, this night, I fixed a couple different things. I didn't just fix this, but I broke it down into different um, videos for y'all because I just feel like that's too much to try to mash into one video. I did it before, and it kind of worked out, but I don't think I'll do that again. I'll always kind of break up each meal. Um, I think I did about six different things this night, y'all. I was on a roll, but... <laughs> Um, so right here I'm putting my egg in a dish to prep for when I roll my egg rolls and get them all sealed up and sitting that to the side. We just gonna mix that up for later. So just know you need an egg in order to seal your egg rolls. But before I do that, I'm about to chop up some shrimp because I told y'all this is a shrimp and vegetable egg roll. So I'm going to chop up some shrimps and we want to finely chop that we're not dicing this me personally i didn't want chunks so if you want you know a whole shrimp because i've seen like whole shrimps chunks i wanted it diced so that's what i'm doing it almost a mince i would this is called a mince this is it's giving mints y'all so i'm mincing my shrimps up as small as i can and um I'm going to saute them, so you're going to see me season it lightly. Again, I'm going to put a little um, cornstarch on it for a binder, and yeah, just to help it brown as well, because I'm not going to cook it too, too much, because I also have to fry it, and we don't want anything overcooked, 
So I'm just gonna lightly sear this on the stove after I season it. And that's what y'all about to see right now. So I'm sorry I had it at like a funny angle y'all but that is sesame oil, um, soy sauce and the cornstarch and then I added the green onion chives. I love green onions. I'm gonna always give it some extra green onion up in there. And I'm just mixing that up real good and I'm about to take it over to the pan. And the same pan that we use to do the vegetables, I left that in there because we want that flavor. So I am going to sear it in a same pan with the same flavor. I know it looks like a little bit, but we adding it to vegetables. It's gonna spray, we didn't need too much. We don't wanna do too much. Sorry about this angle, yo. I didn't realize it was so bad, but it's only for a short clip. But that's just me tossing it around in the vegetables to make sure it's mixed up real nice. This angle isn't the best either, but in just a second, my mom came in and she had noticed the camera wasn't, you know, lined up 100% and she got it right for me so she's also going to help me when it comes time to fry them so y'all going to see a real good angle when it's time to fry them so just stay tuned we almost to the end of this video we actually halfway through if you made it this far don't forget to like this video hit the thumbs up that's the like button comment something you could comment an emoji a food emoji a heart heart eyes a wave just give me a little wave or something in the comment section y'all so youtube could keep pushing my videos subscribe if you haven't subscribed and share share this to your facebook share this to your instagram stories you know you can share with a link share this to your people in the text message say look this girl over here making some egg rolls come get some of these egg rolls i have a bunch of other recipes y'all gumbo i have shrimp pasta um a bunch of stuff y'all seafood boils like i like to cook and if you have a recipe request i can definitely fulfill their order as well so don't sleep on requesting the recipe because i will give it to y'all but um yeah so y'all saw i just did the little egg wash and that was on the corners and now we folding it and we're gonna just do a light roll here with mama fixing the camera for me y'all um so we tucking it in and i didn't want to speed this up or anything because i wanted y'all to get the real time of what i did and then i also put egg on the outside because all of that helped it give it that like golden bubbly crispiness that y'all get at the restaurant so yeah that's that's the vibe right there
So I already had my oil heated up. I think I used canola oil. Yeah, I already had it heated. Um, I used fresh canola oil, um, medium high heat because it does have the filling. But as you can see, it's already getting brown and I just dropped them in. I'm gonna flip them over so they can be fried evenly, y'all. And I would say like 30 seconds each side. Cause you know, we already cooked our middle. We already cooked our filling. So that heat is gonna give it what it needs to give. We basically just frying the wrapper. So about 30 seconds each side and then another 30 seconds, flip it over again. And um, you could go ahead and take that out and sit it off to the side so it can drain. And you have your egg rolls. Yeah, shout out to my mama for this angle. Like, it's giving. I wish I had somebody to hold a camera sometimes, yo. It's really giving. She was like, I got this. I didn't even ask her to do that. She just came through and was like, look, let me get this. Because I need something that can catch over the pot. I, I have to step it up, y'all. So y'all will be getting some new angles real soon. I don't know how soon, but real soon. <laughs> but you have reached the end of this video um y'all we've been doing this now since october 2019 we've been super super consistent so i'm just super grateful to be here another year 2023 um growing we about to hit 3,000 subscribers just had to plug that in right quick keep on supporting us keep on watching these vlogs watch those ads if you could bear it if you can't you can skip it either way go we appreciate the support and we'll see y'all in the next one bye